shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Enlightened Up. <laughs> did you ever, did you, this reminds me of... One time I was at this gym, and I was applying to be a gym membership. And my friend Steiny, how you can read each other, because you and I can read each other. <laughs> so he says, hey, the guy turns around, he goes, I got to look at this paper where he turns around. My friend just goes, the nose. And <laughs> the guy turns around. The guy turns around, looked like his nose was in a vice, you know, as, and, I'm, and I, we, I couldn't even like register because I, I was howling, laughing. My okay. friend spittle was coming out. It was horrible. So just now you told me about a friend of mine that has big ears and he just poked his head in and all I could look at him was his ears. I never said that. You didn't say who it was. I never said that. <laughs> Good talk. Oh, Talk, Caroline Ray. Talk, Caroline Ray. Oh, thank God you're not single and you don't have to date again. It would be terrible being on a date with you. What would it be like on a date with you? Talk. That's what, what, what do you, you say. Oh, you, 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 <laughs> really, you, you, really think, you really think that's what What's I would happening? do? What's happening? What have you I have had the done? post-COVID, for God's sakes. I'm still coughing yes, a little bit. Yes, I know. Do when I to... came to your house? No. First of all, you, were, you asked if you might be able to stay. Yes. And you, and you were t- in your you guest going house. through a few things, and mm-hmm. you asked if you could stay in my guest house. And then I said, of course. And then when you came in the door, you said, all this and I have COVID, which was not mentioned in the original. Can I stay in your house? I and have then I never have to be been in like. Now I, I literally know what it likes to. It's like to live in Molokai, the leper colony. <laughs> I could not believe you. You literally put my food at the bottom yes, of the I steps. Did. Yes, I did because I have a child, I and, could, I, and I couldn't COVID. talk to you across the pool. No, that was. I've never. I could not believe the standards that I was under. So uh, yeah, I was definitely alone. Well, there was a little in your bit, guest house. <laughs> it was basically like the hunchback of Notre Dame. It was moved in. I was Shrek. I was <laughs> like, you're just you, feeding Shrek. I was, and then I would put it at the bottom of the stairs. So so normally, the shows me. don't open up like this, but mine does. Uh, this is enlightened up. Well, you know that because they, they, they download. They already know. They already know it's your episode, and they're going her again. Her again. And, I know. By it's the way, only because only, I wanted to meet Kenny <laughs> Loggins. Such an ass. That I'm on again. <laughs> <laughs> such an ass. I had to schedule it. So that you bumped up against each other. I just happened to bump into him. And by the way, if anybody's watching, they already know that you were on Kenny's episode. You just barreled in. Yes, I did. Same outfit that you're in now because... How do you know? I'm not, Look, I have to amortize this dress. It was a lot of money and I've already gotten chocolate on it. I'm so pissed at myself. <laughs> I might as well literally get something new and then just put a piece, like a stain of yogurt over this boob always and then just like chocolate somewhere. Can, can you just... By the way, when you, when you, when you, when you talk about boobs, point... Don't touch, okay? Uh, okay? That's a little advice from a man, a straight man. You Point literally like, don't touch? Yeah, well, you literally like- Men it, who cup themselves and rearrange their <laughs> sack every minute of the day, this bothers you? Get oh. over- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, they see how that grossed you out? Oh, yes, but yours, you literally went like this. You, see you. you like chucked it to the other side. I mean, it was like, you, you really like again, touched it. You fondled again, your own breast. Again, are we substituting, are we just talking about balls and then projecting? What no, are we I'm doing? not projecting. I watched that happen. We could do a replay if we you'd like. We haven't even said hello to each other. We can't, hello, we can't, Caroline, <laughs> hello. we can't even not hello. fight before even the hello. We're like a married couple, <laughs> including that we don't have sex. <laughs> That's the, that's the part that I, it's the most married of us. I can't it, imagine lying what? next to, well, I used to think about that. Like, Did you just say you can't imagine lying next to me? No, I said I can't imagine lying next to someone. Oh, okay, then, the someone's not me in this case. I always thought it was funny that I have a greater chance of having sex than people who are married and sleep with someone every night. <laughs> Definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely me. Menopause means put men on pause. Oh, and I'm on stop. You know, <laughs> I'm on. I'm, she just put me on stop. You know what? Another room. Figure it out. Figure I can't out. figure anything out. Figure I'm not, it I'm out. I'm not like beautiful mind where I have an equation here going. You know, X R squared you. equals. No, it doesn't work that way. Women are really different. Now I'm. Can, I'm totally woman, getting it now. I'm here, I'm. Yes, I'm totally getting it. Men now. are totally different. I, I never no got idea. it before. You never understood how different we are? I didn't. I was in denial. With my wife, I'd say, oh, no, different. Don't you guys go bashing women with this one. No, here's what you Now are. I'm right You're there like with them. a giant truck <laughs> barreling down the road, <laughs> screaming things at people, telling them to jump on the back of the truck. And a woman is taking a stroll through, like, a quiet area yeah. with, like, twists and oh, turns. And you're is? like, ah! That's, That's how it is, and yeah. I'm just laying on the horn, <laughs> yeah. and you're just quietly <laughs> saying, 
I accept you for who you are. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. The You're- best advice I ever got about relationships was, um, well, first of all, I love the language of love. We have to figure out what your language of love is. We do? Yeah. And that will help. How do we because find that out? Because if you have different languages of love, like the other day I was with someone who I love who said to me, yeah, I don't really need to ever talk. And I was like, wow, that's my language of love and what I do for a living. Really? And on you my just want a listener. return. No. <laughs> I want somebody to talk with me and oh, to do. me okay. and acknowledge that they've heard. If if you have no like self-discovery going on yeah. and that you want to, you, you want to process it with someone, right? Sure. The greatest advice, my this minister who was like a father to me, he said, you're never going to find the answers to all the, the, mm. the big questions in life. But you yeah. want to find somebody to ask them with and then ponder them together and yes. figure it out. Yeah, that would be that right. would be something that uh, theoretically that would work. Theoretically that would work? Yes. Have we ever had it work in our <laughs> lives? Never. <laughs> it's never have been I proven. Ever? No, I, I have. For I years, have though, with my wife, it was proven. I just, it's just not anymore. Not proven anymore. Stop. I'm not going to stop. This is what, you know, listen, I thought you were going to be my confidant here. It just <laughs> well, happens to be there's a few thousand people <laughs> listening. There's a few thousand people listening to you. Here, okay, so I will explain what, what the issues are. You tell me, and I'll give you what's really going on. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, you're you going to be the going. translator. Yeah, okay. I'll translate. And I'll do for you. Yeah. Although you don't want that. I don't want that translation. <laughs> I, already, I already heard it loud and clear. I saw the translation. Oh, I'm like the UN. So I'm like the UN, and she takes the headphones off. God, oh, I've had enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Okay, I made Kenny Rogers laugh with the new joke Oh, I told my you. God. He you laughed. Don't, you don't like to be called Carolyn? Oh, what did I you say? You just called him Kenny Rogers. Oh oh <laughs> and I'm not editing again. I'm not going to edit it. <laughs> You're so mean. I called Kenny Loggins Kenny Rogers. Not oh. only not only, not, not only, oh. different person, but dead. Oh. <laughs> you pick someone who's it's dead. It's like me with Charlotte Ray. She's actually dead. 85, 86. Are you Charlotte Ray? When I was like 40, I'm like, no, I'm not. Okay. So um, you weren't on Facts of Life? See, okay. there you go. All right, so okay. there you go. Did you? T- you I, I called him, I Kenny, called him Rogers. Kenny Rogers. I swear to God, you did. I did. I heard it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not denying it. I'm. Okay. Too, I'm. T- I feel That's terrible. That's what you need a man for is to reflect. Okay. Oh, so I need you oh. to reflect back to me. Okay. What the it's, issues are. All right. It's bile and vomit that you're going to get reflected on. All right. You tell me an issue. All right. I understand. Men are visceral little mammal pigs that just want. <laughs> Pretty and sex and be done. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Occasionally, when I'm already a, 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 when I'm already a, a pig wallowing <laughs> in my own shit coin. <laughs> I don't think of you that way at all. I, I mean, well, that's what you looked at me. There was no one else in the room. You looked at me. You didn't even look at my poster. You looked directly at me. Now's the time to tell you I have a lazy eye. <laughs> I was looking at Gordon. Well, directly p- into apparently the that lazy eye got to work <laughs> right, and she, I clocked in right into my eyes. You know and what? Said pig. That was my joke that made Letterman go ha huh, when I said that's a big one. I for said him. if you were fixed up on a blind date, wouldn't you think that um, uh, lazy eye would be mentioned within the top ten descriptive adjectives? <laughs> and of course, I felt bad because I was like, "What are you looking at?" When it, over my shoulder, and then I was like, "Oh my god." He's like, I have a problem with my eye. I'm like, oh, I didn't even notice. David Letterman has a lazy eye. No, it was telling. I was telling the joke when I was on David Letterman, oh, okay. and then I said, I felt bad for him. Of course, so we went out for two years, but then we broke up because I found out he was seeing someone on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. It's and so Letterman, bad. It's good. It's so bad. It's good. Yeah. And yeah. Letterman went, ha. Huh. That's and, great. And, I know that's he never a, that's really a like fall for him. It is. It wasn't like an audible giggle, but he went, "Ha!" He's a rough laugh. It's amazing he lasted that long. I know. In the comedy business because he's not a laugher. And uh then Jay Leno told me the other day that I was very funny. How would he have said that, Craig? Hey, uh, Carolyn, I saw you sat there and uh, I got to say uh, very, very I wish I had the tonight show because you'd be my first guest. <laughs> Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. You might know her as Hilda. Hilda from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which is a very funny comedian. Please welcome the comedy stylings of. Here he is. Maybe I should have done him. I'm watching Tom and Pammy. I'm addicted to it. Pam. I'm sorry, Tommy and Pam. Not They have a show Tom. now? No, they have a Hulu. Oh, I can't believe you don't know this. I'm binging. What do they have? Binging. I have a, a, a mason jar next to my chair Wait, so I, I can pee you were in it. i still having a man crush on the guy from The Karate Kid. It's over. Oh. No, not the crush is not over. I, uh, I, that I, guy is so hot. He is it's ridiculous. He is that's he's a man crush. He I've is so handsome. He's living. Robin next Thicke to... is my man crush. Okay, I used to be friends with Alan Thicke, and I would go over there. Yeah, just to see, just to no, see. No, we, we would know, go over for Canadian Thanksgiving, and he would always oh, right. make me laugh because first of all, he had a circular bed 
with a mirror on top and like oh, lights, course. like oh, yeah. like it was a runway. And I would always tease him saying, you know, a mirror on the bed for someone your age is actually considered a form of contraceptive. <laughs> He loved it when I was mean to him. It's amazing I'm your friend. <laughs> By the way, um, folks, I get the now that he's dead, I get all get I get all, all of his Alan insults. I get, abuse. I get all <laughs> of the insults that are usually saved for Alan Thicke, and now I get it. No, I love Alan. So man crush. Um so I'm not man anyway, crush. I used to go over to Alan's and Robin would be playing in the garage with his friends. Not toys. He'd be playing no, he'd be playing music. Yes. It's a long time ago. A long time you ago. You know who one of his music mates was? Do you know this? I don't. No, a famous guy, actor. Who? 90210. Oh, Luke Perry? No. Okay. No, keep going. Jason Priestley? Nope, keep going. Um, I, I, it I was know. his bandmate. I married know. Megan Fox. Oh, Brian Austin. Yes, Green. that was his bandmate. I found that out on The Masked Singer, one of my favorite shows. It which is. I told Kenny Loggins to go on. I said, you, you should go on. You should go on The Masked Singer. Me? Yes. You I, can actually really say it, and seriously, no now this, one would guess it's no, you. Literally, no one. <laughs> I, I mean, Caroline, I could take the mask off, and no one would guess that it's me. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Listen, can I tell my own self-deprecating jokes? How did you beat me to it so fast? I was actually literally prepping the joke. No one would know who I am, and you went right for it. Just, just, just. This friend of mine. That no one would, yes, no one would know. That's why I'm okay. not going on. You know on. what? I can't help I'm it. I'm thinking about going. This is my Aries nature. I'll this say, friend of mine. I'm so not famous. I'm thinking about going on. I can see your voice and go as, you know, they as, he's the plumber. I'll just be the plumber. And then nobody's going to go, oh, that's what Craig Shoemaker. I can see your voice? Oh, uh, Ken Jong hosted. Ken Jong and Keith and Craig Robinson are literally on every single I moment know. They're of also, television. They're on the dollar bill right now. Oh, don't don't even start with me. Okay, it, but what is Joel it? McHale, throw him in there too. Every, yeah. These guys are on everything. Joel is also a man crush of yours, I know. That's true. Yes. Yes, yes I'll give you him. He's, a, he's a quite a handsome fellow. So not man crush, this Hulu show of okay. Pam and Tommy is about... It's Seth Rogen produced it yes. and developed it, and it's about the tape. It is so much deeper than you can ever imagine. This the story of the tape they stole the you know the sex tape right, right. and made money on it. It is unbelievable. It's intrigue. It's you know Pelicano that private eye. It's got Tommy Lee is the biggest asshole that ever lived, and why the guy did it was he didn't find it. I I don't want to I don't want to spoil it. Go ahead, tell me. I'm not going to watch it. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Why would you not watch because something? Watch I'm telling you, it's so Swindler, great. I just so watched disgusting. it. Just he, watched it. He has his own show now. They've offered him a show. He not only uh, that's how horrible Hollywood is. Tell me about what did he do? Was the it Tinder just Swindler? Yeah, ends with his success while all the women are broke. Oh, he's out of jail already. Did a little time in jail, became more successful than when he went into jail. Unbelievable! This uh, this is the way our world is. It's disgusting to me. Now, here we are on a show called Enlightened Up, by the way. Welcome to Enlightened Up. And we're talking about this. Well, what did the Tinder swindler do? Ugh. Horrible. Just watch it and then watch Tommy and, and Pam. Okay. It is so good. So are Tommy unbelievable and Pam actors. On it? No, but there's people playing them who are oh. amazing actors. Really? Amazing. Like on the money. The next guest that comes in, unlike you, probably won't walk into our show. Right. That we're doing not. right now, yeah, like I you know. did with okay. Kenny Loggins, just mm -hmm. barreled right in. <laughs> I did. I barreled. I did barrel. <laughs> it reminded me of a few weeks ago, I was shooting this show called Wolfpack, this reality show, and we're in the middle of filming, and the mother of the store, of the woman who we're, we're like having a scene with, was walked right in. That's what it reminded me of. Just That's like, so hey, what's up? You know, no microphone. She starts talking. We're going, what do we do? What do we do? And that was like you just walked right. Hi, I wanted to meet Kenny Loggins. Could have met him after he's done the show, <laughs> but just went. I have a Kenny Loggins story. Couldn't have told him I out here. I didn't know where if he was going to like run out or sneak out a back oh, door. Okay, yes, you didn't want to miss that. So, anyway. What's your favorite Kenny Loggins song? Ooh, that's a good question. I can't, there's sometimes I can't stop singing. Weenie the Pooh doesn't know what to do because it's a nice, simple. Come on, you know what? Got Here's a honey jar stuck on his nose. He's asking me for help and advice. That's a sweet so song. So from here, no one knows where he goes. Help me if you can. I've got to get back, back to the house of Pooh Corner by one. You'd be, be surprised. surprised. There's too much to be done. Count all the bees in the hive. Count all the bees in the hive. Is that wrong? Yes. No, it's just a sweet Chase lyric. Chase all the clouds from the sky. Oh. Back to the... Days okay, what does that mean? That Robin. to me immediately. It's very high. See, I have to do it. Back to the days of Christopher Robin and Pooh. 
<laughs> now it sounds like Javert is hunting both right. Christopher Robin and Pooh, and it's going to shoot them down with like a hunting rifle. We need the Pooh doesn't know what to do until I tell him what he's going to do. They came to me asking help and advice. And, and I, say, I told him, maybe prison, are you? Are you? <laughs> I, I, I can't not do Broadway voice. I, okay. It's very hard for it, me it's to ridiculous. do something simple. The, the fact that you have that beautiful a voice and you don't do it. Okay, here's how you will your wife. Oh. What is completely, do you play the Sing? guitar? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. You, oh, honey, honey, I'm so bad though. Thank God. You, you believe in divine intervention? Uh, every day. I dated this woman and I had a guitar that I hardly ever played. I, you know, I studied like three chords from the John Denver handbook. Right. You, you know, by How the way, he, laid. he wrote Leaving on a Jet Plane, <laughs> by the way. I thought, yes, I know. Yes, okay. I, know. I knew, you know, bags are packed, the D, G. So I knew those, you know, little chords. I had it there. And this woman I just started dating, she goes, oh, you play guitar? This was divine intervention. I go, yeah, but I'm not going to play it right now for you. You know, let's get to know each other. Thank God. Her boyfriend right before me. Take a guess. Eric Clapton. No! I swear to God. You imagine if I go, thumb, strum, strum, thumb, strum, strum, down in the valley. <laughs> the greatest guitar player ever. And I'm doing three chords of down in the valley, valley oh, so low. That is Are you turned so, on now? Oh, <laughs> Thank my God. God. I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Do not bust out that guitar. That is so Not going to work for you. Keep with the funny. Okay, well, that's funny because when Alan Thicke asked to meet me, yeah. I got this literally message through my managers. Uh, at the time, they were Australian. They're, yeah, Alan Thicke would like to meet with you. And I was like, why? And they're like, no, you didn't say why. And I'm like, this is just like when Brigitte Nielsen's manager sent over a, a, a naked picture to Stallone. Yeah. I was like, this is so weird. Why does he want to meet me? So we go to the Beverly Hills Hilton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, he shows up. And he's like, for some reason, I put my arm down and he's connecting all of the freckles on my arm as he talks to me. Spelling out the words, me too. But it was before that. <laughs> so um, he's just like touching my arm and, and, and I'm like, and then he's like, I think he wanted me to play his wife on a sitcom. That was what it was oh. about. And, but I was like, in my head, I'm like, I kind of look like Gloria Loring. Is he... Hitting on me, I can never tell. I never know if I'm on a date. I never know if anyone's right, hitting right, on me. I right, never right. I'm yeah. clueless. So I'm like, is he hitting on me? This is so weird. And then in my mind, I'm like, I think he is actually flirting with me. And then his girlfriend shows up. She's not Miss USA. She's not Miss World. She's Miss Universe. <laughs> She's the most beautiful oh, yeah. woman on oh, yeah. in the in the gl galaxy. That was his thing. He yeah. Yeah, no, he, he loved. And I was like, he went from Universe to America. Started off in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Worked his way at Miss Saskatchewan. Theater. I think he was with her. Oh, yeah. He was very well known for that. Yeah. he He's like, I remember seeing him the last time I saw him. He'd had like his, he was talking, he, he, that he had just, he was telling me he just had his like fifth facelift and he was, um, and he was on his like sixth wife. And he's like, I love beautiful women, young, beautiful pageant winners. That's my thing. I would never forget I, the last wow. time with him. I was at this concert at my friend's house. You know, I did love him. Jeff Franklin. Uh huh. Has these unbelievable concerts. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's like Bobby Brown. You could Brown, use a little the boy at Miller, the, Jeff Franklin the, lighting in here. This the, is very the, like hospital. Oh, my God. Would you? Okay, great. Sorry, go ahead. You were the one that walked in my place and said, the mood, is, the, the, the lighting is very. It's very, <laughs> it's very dreary. I, you don't understand. My house, I, I like every light on. I want the sun shining through. Every, I need. Right, I, I don't light. have sunshine okay, here. Okay, I know, I have Scorpio. sunshiny stories. I, I have sunshine. Know. I was about to tell you a sunshiny story. Okay. Alan Thick was at a table do, do. with me yeah. and some other people at my friend's house who has these jam sessions, Beach Boys, Macy Gray, Bobby Brown, Amazing. Jackson Brown, every Brown you've ever heard of. They all play in this guy's living room. It's like 100 people. It's crazy. Tom Jones is there all the time. Best, by the way, best singer ever. I never ever, knew that. Ever. I didn't grow up. Like, I'll never fall in love. It was my mom's love. era. No, no. Tom There's Jones, nobody I'll never fall in him. love again. Let's listen to it. It, it. He is the most beautiful voice in the world. The most unbelievable voice. Yes. And I thought he was just Still. like old guy and my mom followed, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Oh, no. He's the best. He's the best. And By the way, there's he a told line me, of women to sleep with him and he's 80. I have it on. I have it on, no, over, over that. I have it on tape. I have it on video. He goes, uh -huh. so it turns to me after I sang. He goes, you got fucking pipes like Pavarotti. He tells me I got, I have it. I show it to you. You got pipes like, like Pavarotti. And I said, can you do this for my mother? <laughs> I sent it to my mom because she loves Tom Jones. How do you, how do you not love him? I've, a, I've been trying to go and see him on tour. Well, I'm going to go to your talk to me because I've got, you know, he's my buddy, you know, through my friend Jeff. Anyway, 
He's on stage, and Alan Thicke and his wife, I'll never forget, they get up from their seats, mm -hmm. and her rear end goes right by my face, and then he goes by, right? They go to the back, replacing them in their seats. Guess who? Like, who would make you really, really nervous? Like, like you couldn't talk, couldn't ask him for a picture. That famous, that big, that iconic, that legend. Um, Who's somebody that could do that? And that's who sat well, in Well, it would seat. be Gene Hackman. I babbled, Gene right? Hackman? <laughs> bro well, that. you said who would make you nervous. Gene I Hackman? <laughs> First of all, he wouldn't remember five minutes later. No, it's terrible. No, Gene Hackman, he's literally one of those people you go, is he alive? I mean, no, I'm talking about an, uh, an iconic superstar for decades that would make you nervous. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Music. Uh, Sits down. Music. Mick Jagger. Yes. My no. God. I never had anyone get on the first guess. No. Yes, Mick Jagger sits down with Ron Wood. Right no. with me, right? No. I can't even talk. I can't ask him no. for it. So now, somehow they got up and Thick came back, and then they go to the back, and Tom Jones, you know, this, it's a jam session in there. I'm going, I'm about to see the greatest. And you know I'm a control freak. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to go yes with a capital Y. <laughs> Could it just be a subtle... Maybe. No, it's Could like it be a my, maybe? You know what? My friends, they're a gay couple, and one <laughs> happens to be like a drop-dead supermodel. I don't know where this is going. One, <laughs> the other one is like adorable and full of personality. Yeah. And he asked me, he said, do you know why we picked Larry's sperm to uh, with uh -huh. with Maddie? And I said, yes. <laughs> and I... <laughs> And apparently in that same way, I've, I've I really, Insult, the no, biggest I, insult ever. Yes, and I didn't like, mean it to be at all. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yes. No, I think you do mean it yes, on no, a subliminal no. method. Control freak, I okay. don't, but go on. So, I'm not trying to control it, I'm just saying. No, I know, okay. Just, just like these old ladies. Sidebar insult, just finish the story. These old ladies in the, in the building I used to live in. I'm not saying, I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> That's what she'd always say to me. <laughs> not, just thought I'd let you know. So... <laughs> <laughs> so Tom Jones, it's a jam session there uh -huh. all the time. They have jam, people jam together all the time, like crazy combinations so of people. Did Mick Jagger and Ron Wood get up? Let me tell you what happened. So you would do the same thing. I'm going, I know the situation here. I'm like a co-host almost. So he starts, Tom Jones, someone whispers that Mick Jagger's there who had never been there before. And Ron Wood, I'm going, oh my God, I'm going to see Mick Jagger and Tom Jones jam together. I mean, my producer hat is on now. Right. And I go, oh, they're not hearing them because they're in the back now. And I ran to the back, the producer. And oh, my God. The codependent teenager. The codependent. Uh -huh. <laughs> trying to rescue yeah, his Yeah, of parents. course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Save the day. I made it happen. I made it happen. Even though they have 75 years of cruise issues. I made it happen. I hear you. Yeah. All right. So, listen. I said, I, my producer hat was on and my creative hat. I go, I went back. I was too scared of Mick Jagger. I really was. Of he course. did not have a good attitude. No. And I said, hey, Ron, you know, and I said, um, you know, um, this is a jam session that goes on here. And I said, uh, he's, he's like up there. To, he's, uh, Tom Jones is on stage going, uh, you know, I'm from, I'm from Wales and there's some lads from London, I understand, are here. He's doing this whole monologue to introduce Mick Jagger and Martin Moore. Right. I go, I see he's about to introduce you. He goes, ah, we're going to take the night off, mate. I go, uh, no, it's not, what, it's not what happens here. You know, oh. he's asking for you to go on stage. I, he goes, and eh, no, we're not going to do it tonight. And I said, you want me to tell Sir Tom Jones to fuck off? <laughs> and he oh goes, tell him to fuck off in the most polite way possible. <laughs> That's what he says to me. So I had to go tell Tom Jones that he said fuck off. <laughs> so anyway, it didn't happen. I thought I was going to literally see the greatest jam ever with only 100 people there, and it didn't happen. I can't believe I'm it. Sorry about the story ending no, on a bad why note, but on Alan Thick was related somewhat to that story. Why on earth? Was, it took you some time. I know that you have this moment. What? But we all do. But sometimes, I was once talking to um, Tyler Perry. <laughs> I was at a party, and Janet Jackson was there. She had been in this movie. <laughs> By the way, she, this show, if we were dropping names, yeah. we couldn't even stand on the floor right now. Know, we would have a carpet name of names. Dropping. This okay. is not lame dropping. Lame dropping is when you're oh, like... Oh, Alan Thicke was lame? I'm sorry. No! Okay, okay. He's not lame dropping <laughs> at all. Alan I'm not going to give an example of lame right, dropping because right. it's the spiritual show. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but I did do a movie with Hasselhoff. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, he's been your yes, too. Anyway. Um, oh, all right. Okay, what was I even telling you? Um, it, was a, it was a name drop. Oh, it was Janet Jackson oh, was involved. and she said to me, Michael yes. and I are big fans of yours. And my head exploded. Because in your right, mind, you go... Yeah. How do you even know who I am? Right. And don't you always feel that no matter what? 
as a comedian, even though you've been on television forever and grown, and when people know who you are, you're like, how? Unbelievable. It's shocking. It's shocking. Each it's like, one that does I, it. I, 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 we, I met almost every member of the Partridge family. And you're like, and you're like, how? You're introducing yourself. You're going, hi, I'm, you know, yeah. and, and they're going, no, you are. Are you kidding me? Ledge, you know, ledge, you know, right, you know, right. OG. Although I did have a little, you know, being the, you know, kind of like husband to you. I did get a little kick when Kenny Loggins had no idea who you were. Thank you. It's okay. Because I got a big kick out of the fact that he has no memory of you singing on Broadway with him for an entire week. He didn't know who I was, nor did he remember that I opened for him in Alaska and something humiliated happened 20 years ago. But you spend a week with him and have a 20. relationship with him. That's true. And he didn't remember. Could not so believe my you pain is nothing compared my to yours. My pain is... My pain is so deep and dark, I can hardly do this interview right now because that just happened. He, told, he dissed me. He goes, no, that didn't happen. Went, oh, no, Kenny. I sang with you on Broadway, so stop it. What, but were you in the bathroom at the time and he was on stage? No, is stop, that kind of stop, thing? stop. Oh, Don't go you, hacky. You, 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 Don't go you, hacky. You, you, you know the story. Hacky. You, do, you know, one thing is how you do, you do you? like, wow, that's how the worst thing you could say to dare, a comic. Oh, how that, dare you? You could say that and you don't have matching shoes. <laughs> These shoes were extremely expensive. And luckily, my dog ate one pink one and one purple one. So that left me with this. So instead of like bagging the shoes, you just go with two different shoes. Yeah. Now she's eaten thousands of dollars worth of reading glasses, but now she's wow. getting better. She only eats one lens. I was actually going to promote one of my sponsors, but I don't want to because it'll be eaten as alma mater shoes. These are fabulous shoes. Those are really nice shoes. I know. No, I can gorgeous. get you a pair. I don't like men's shoes, and those are really nice. Oh, that, really, really there's nice. loads of them. They're all kinds of great, great what shoes. Com- what is the brand of the alma shoe? Alma mater. Look it up. Okay, like and I'll say mater. it like alma mater. Ma- ma- alma mater? Uh, let's not talk about... Alma Accents, Modern, or do you okay. say alma? Which one do you say? Alma mater. Um, alma mater. Okay. Is that bad? That's a very hard word I will for it, someone from Philadelphia. Oh alma mater. I, alma mater. That's I what it will is. admit. I. Uh, by the way, I but know. You're, you're I know L- my alma mater. Oh my god, alma mater. You're saying I, it like I, it. really. <laughs> I, I watch this. I can sing it, okay. and it'll sound different. Okay. Remember Mel Tillis? Yes. He stuttered until he sang. Yeah. I'm Philadelphia until I sing. Okay. Let's hear. <laughs> I sing in a British voice. Okay. Let's hear. Say alma mater. Alma mater, Mm -hmm. we sing to you of our school days in junior high. Alma mater, (laughs) our air hold true of our, and our spirits will never die. Here's to Hillcrest, our promise we give gladly to learn, wisely to live. Here's to Hillcrest. Isn't that a golf club? Our junior high crusaders of blue and white. Alma. That's You didn't sing it. What did I say? Alma. I did it wrong again, even a, even in the song? You're doing a Hebrew word, Amma. <laughs> I need a little more phlegm. Alma mater, we sing to you. Okay, I'm going to name a song and you sing it. What? I don't know any lyrics. If anything. I could turn back time by Cher. Ed Cher. If I could turn back time. I'm going to do it as her. <laughs> okay, because it sounded like you were doing it as Elvis. <laughs> if I could turn back time. My first friend, celebrity friend in Los Angeles... God, this is the name dropping show. It really is. Yeah, it's going to turn into that because you and I know everyone yes, between the two of us. Mm-hmm. Lisa Marie Presley was my wow. first friend in California, first celebrity. And friend I in mentioned California. Michael Jackson earlier, so at least our name dropping is connected. Yeah, that was a weird time for her when she married him. I have some theories on that, but anyway, yeah, it was my first. She was your first friend. My first friend, and what's funny is I was not an Elvis person either, so it meant very little to me. And other people is like royalty. Literally, royalty. Right. I have friends with her, her husband and all that stuff. I used to hang out with Scientologists. Wow. You want to hear something weird? Never came on to me. Wow. That makes you feel like a loser when a cult is not <laughs> trying to <laughs> enlist you. That makes you feel like, wow. You know what's sad? <laughs> when this a is cult, exactly what a I cult thought. has you're gotten together and said, exactly. it's a pass. <laughs> it's it's a you're, pass. Exp- you're expressing <laughs> verbally in a mean way exactly my, my thoughts about myself and my insecurity. I went... How oh, come they don't want me? <laughs> they never once. I hung out with L. Ron Hubbard's son. Not once. Not a word. Lisa Marie Presley. The whole list of them. The celebrities. Do you know that there's an L. Ron? Chick Corea. Oh, my God. No one ever said, have you thought about reading Dianetics? Oh. So, John Travolta. I went to the, 
I went to in a limousine just with John Travolta and maybe two other people out to see Look Who's Talking, a like a sneak mm -hmm. thing that they were checking out in Long right. Island from Manhattan. Yeah. Not a word, Craig, if you considered, <laughs> if you considered oh taking the purification. Not a word has anyone said to the point where one time I was invited to a concert. Well, a apparently concert. you've done some research because you got some like words in there that are really. I know it all. I hung out with them. I was on a I was on a baseball team with them. Wow. Tons and tons of them. Never a word to me. I know about the things that they do. I know about. The, I've been in a celebrity center. I even did a movie in a celebrity center. Never. Have, that's why when I see these things, which I do watch, by the way. You know, I'm talking, uh -huh. I, I watch those shows. Mm -hmm. You ever watch that, that show? Do you know there's an L. Ron Hubbard Street in Los Angeles? Of course there is. I can't believe it's not a cult to sack. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh. Word play to distract you to the next subject. If that's what Wordle, then I have no one. Uh, no, 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 Wordle I, is pissing me off. Yes, I'm My daughter with, gets it in two. I'm and done I'm with like, it already. Yeah, it's already yeah. annoyed me. Even I haven't even it done was, one. When we were kids, it's like Mastermind. That's what it was right, called. Right, of course. It's yeah. Mastermind with letters. Oh, God. I know, it's very annoying. But anyway, so I actually. Whose Emmys are these? Mine. They're, no, they're, seriously. No, they're my Emmys, and these are all my. That's my comedian of the year. That's my. Oh, this I told you this. This is my. Pro, this is my pride and joy. What did you win an Emmy Caroline, for? Can we stop? I don't want to talk about, about my the trophies. Emmy. What did you win an Emmy for? There's best supporting actor. Oh my god, they're your Emmys, as in you you own them, but they're not. They don't have your they name. Say on my them? name on them, honey. What did you do? One's for acting, and one is for writing. For okay. what show? For for interstitial stuff. They give the special Emmys. I did interstitial stuff years ago. I don't okay. want to talk about it. All this right. is what I'm okay. talking about right here. You know what this is? No. Nope. My ex-wife's family reunion. I won the horse's ass. Oh. This I earned. I have so much pride. Look at it. It's a horse's ass. I see it. It's yeah. a horse's ass. But yeah, this is all my stuff. You know, this is all past shit. Somebody told me to do this. There's my New York Times article and my, my movie award-winning Love Master. Wow. You do this because a branding expert told me, that this is what you should do. But my whole thing with Enlighten Up is we need to be present. We need to be in the now. We need to not go to the outside. We need to go to the inside. That's the irony of okay, this. Okay, I have a real question for oh, you. And you're go. a man, and it's an enlightened okay, question. Okay, okay, great. Okay. So at what point does something not need to be discussed? At what point when somebody does something... Well, when it's I hang so out with you, it's 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 literally every other sentence. Okay, Craig, All right. Craig, you're not allowed to say master anymore. Oh, I'm only known as love master. No, you can't use that word, Craig. I'm googling stuff showing all the masters. All the masters. I was asking master, a real question. There's masters, you masters of the universe. It back to there's masters of the That's universe. That's not enlightened. There's, no, I'm bringing it back to you. No, how critical you are. No, I am not overly critical. Yes, you are. You, you jumped need on the a masters. Lot of then I had to send you. Not then I had to send does. you. There's master classes. I had to send you all this stuff, and then I get blank in return because she knew she was wrong on that one. But no, go I, ahead. I, that, okay. That's not true. I just didn't read any of it. All right, it. so go ahead. Continue with your your query. Okay. Yeah. Now, you're a self-help guru in your No, mind. I'm not a guru. I do enjoy personal development. Yes. I the deserve, unexamined I, life I, is not worth living. Is that not correct? No, you got that right. That's what comedians do. We examine. Some of us examine others more than others. You're so hostile. Hopefully that was on video. <laughs> your little weird chicken move. <laughs> <laughs> um. How have we never been married? <laughs> no, we are married. What are me. you talking this about? This is shocking to me. <laughs> Listen. All right. So go ahead. Tell tell you. Ask your question of a person. Okay. So when someone does something. Yeah. It's, okay. So you're very good friends with the person. Yep. Okay. And then they do something that is very hurtful to you. Yeah. At what point do you walk away because it's just too hurtful? Or is that just being a little chicken? Because I will never block anyone. I think that's repulsive. Yeah, it's just I don't a chicken like that. Move. I don't like that. It's a chicken move. I remember you thought I blocked you, and I'm like, I don't block anybody. Yeah, because I don't know how, but <laughs> otherwise I would have. <laughs> that was the sad part about it. Oh, it's like, that. oh, I would have blocked you. but <laughs> I just don't know how. No, so, I, I think that's, I don't ever think you should get to the point where you're like, somebody's done. I don't like black like and white. Like you're dead to me. Yeah, I don't, that, I, that expression, we use yeah. that in Philly, you're dead I don't, to I me. don't like that. It's like Scorpios. When they, We used to have address books. Scorpios always have D for the letter you, dead to me. You're talking to the wrong guy, and I'm a Scorpio, oh, by the way. The wrong guy. Work? I am so not into that. I'm, I have people that silent treat me. It really right. bothers me. My right. sister, years, has not spoken to me. Even though I've asked her nicely, I said, you're missing out on your niece and nephew. Anything, Aww. nothing works with her. She's total silent treatment, lives in the past, lives in stories, has a story about me, whatever it is, whatever reasoning 
That's what you tell. That is another reason why I keep going down the enlightened path. Right. You know, the, the spiritual, whatever you want to call it, personal development is because we do need to examine ourselves to see to understand why we get to the point we have to shut someone out. Like, wh- why would you do silent treatment? What point is that making? Right. What is there's so much unsaid there? I always think everything can be re- re- resolved. I do. But yeah. I think you also, there's certain people, I guess, you just don't need to make peace with. That's the, that's the difference is there's certain people that have a toxicity that they're not willing to work on. And right. then you got to walk away. Right. But you just do, do it in a nice way, though. You just, no, I, that's, that energy doesn't work for me anymore. Right. And I quietly walk away. And I'm doing it more and more. By the way, that's a healthy thing for me. I and normally don't. Time you I don't. try to make it work. And years ago, I always thought forgiveness was something like <clears throat> two people and one person. I think you can forgive a person. And it has nothing to do with them that you just don't have to hold on to their, like any pain you have about them anymore. But you also don't have to tell them. It's a good point, by the way. You yeah. use a great word. You said hold on to. Yeah. And then surrender is the greatest victory. That's what I found. I, I've had to do it so many times. And I have to tell you in non specific ways, my surrenders have really worked. So like, you're saying I surrender this all to God. It's up to you anyway. I surrender this. I surrender trying to control this because that's my ego. So I surrender my ego in this right. case and I let it be. Because it's not on my timeline. You know, I want to, you know, I always tell people like, you know, if you believe in God, God, so God's the creator, which makes us creative and you tap into that source. But if God made the Grand Canyon, which is, that's like a, wouldn't you say that's like a God spot? Big, big God spot. Yeah. Took centuries and centuries. Yeah. So I want to write a book because it's very painful to accept God's terms. I want to write a book called God's a Slow Motherfucker. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Because it's so Well, it's always, it's it's my will, not thy will, if you do the Lord's Prayer. Which is my, you know, that's a hard one. It's my thy, will. thy will. No. Oh, thy will, not my will. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. Sorry. You had it well, reversed. I liked it better my way than I said it. <laughs> I did it thy way. It doesn't was, really make I, a good I saying, song. Do I correct her or will she, be, I did will she it. block me can if you, I correct can her? Can you sing I did it thy way? I did it thy way. No. It's Frank Sinatra. I did it thy way. <laughs> Regrets. I've had a few. <laughs> Uh, so I did it thy way, yeah. What do you think about this? I, I the did. people that come into your life really are your mirror. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's most of the reason you hate me. <laughs> you know what? I don't... You do go into hate with me once in a while. No, no, no. Only like that moment that you just said that. You're so <laughs> off with me. You're so wrong about it. You have so, so much right. intuition and you're so not right about it. that With I you think, only. How? With you how only. Are you this Everyone far else I see clients. I'm no, right on it. They no, say, my God, not. there's a guy flying out from Florida have, in a couple like weeks. A life of neediness is on top of it. <laughs> So when I say no, that's not what I am or thinking. Do you think I've not like done work on myself? You're the only enlightened one in the room. I didn't say that, but apparently with me, you don't. With me, I thought. No, I do. I'll be right there. Absolutely. (laughs) Whoever this is, even if you're a telemarketer, I'm on my way. Anything to get me out of this. I have to go in a minute. Oh. I have to pick my daughter up. All right. All right. Well, this was fun. I love you. This was fun. This was, this was fun. Um, I went to Russell Peters' wedding. I know you did. It was unbelievable. That's and like a name drop now. Chic was the band. Yeah. I met more famous people, but can I tell you the funniest thing? Yeah. Okay. Who's the very famous boxer? Lewis. Uh, who, Lewis? Le- Lennox. Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis. Yes. Okay. He was there. Of course, I went up to him and I said, No. Could I take a picture with you, please? Yeah. Because my friend is obsessed with boxing. Did he said, Do you know who I am? My friend Alexander. No, he was very gracious. Mm-hmm. And I said to him, you're a Virgo, aren't you? And he said, yes, I am. How did you know? I said, your suit. <laughs> Stop it. I swear to God. Yeah. And then I took a selfie of us, but for some reason I have the filter, and we both have <laughs> long, false eyelashes on <laughs> in the picture, <laughs> which I will show you. And then another friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Lennox Lewis with long, false yes, eyelashes. That's the picture Heavyweight I have. champion of yes, the world. Yes, that's the picture I have. I can show it to you. 280 pounds. Yeah. And then um, his wife is lovely. She's an Aries. <laughs> and I was telling her anyway this other friend of mine was I was at a party and she was with this guy that she used to date and, and she really liked and then I was trying to do her favor I said oh you guys get together because but she still kind of liked him take a picture and it's such a cute picture except I got hysterical because again bad eyes didn't have my glasses on I used the filter where they both have mustaches <laughs> <laughs> And then another one somehow. <laughs> there is a filter where they become golden retrievers. <laughs> By the way, this is all reasons to block you. 
I wouldn't Go speak ahead and to block you. Me. I wouldn't speak to you. The great thing is I won't notice. That's I, the hard. <laughs> you take vitamins. I do. Can I have I vitamins about... for you. Oh, here. great! What kind? I'd love to hear. They're about called them. highest, and these are there are tons of studies that show the health benefits relating to pain, neuroprotection, energy, anti-aging. This is I didn't look you at you when I said right that. At I did me. not look at you when I said you that. You went anti-aging. I, my my you eyebrows look... went up, and I oh said it right to you no, direct. You did it right it to was me. A re- as you said, it was a reflection back to me. Wow. See, uh-huh. I got to use that. There you go. Okay, so so that's put that back up on the screen there, Gordon. These are molecular hydrogen blend. Fantastic. They're very different than most vitamins, okay? So you can get them for free because I'm giving them to you that's the as a gift, gift as, ever. A, as a party gift. And, and, of course, the candle from Ethan Cole. He has the best candles ever. You're, you're, I know. I'm very lucky. I, you know what? If you need, though, I already have one. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't need. Uh, so go to the website. <laughs> He's a molecular molecular <laughs> hydrogen. And by the way, portions go to Laughter Heals, which oh, we, nice. you and I both believe in. And he yes. only powers the laughter. It's called a highestvitamins.com. Highest, like H-Y-E-S-T. That's better than highest the yeah, other exa- way. Exa- well, Ricky Williams already has that. He has a whole thing called Heisman. Oh. He's a big pot smoker. You right. know, Ricky yeah. Williams, the football player, yeah. is Heisman. Anyway, he was just on Bill Maher the other day. By the way, real quick thoughts. Uh, Bill Maher... Um, Joe Rogan, all the controversy that goes on, somebody speaks out, uh, you know, kind of like sort of, sort of against the liberals, you know, and stuff like that. What do you think? Really? Ro- Ro- I literally said I have to go and pick up my daughter. Oh, I'm right. already we late. And then you start, that. you ask me I'll a question you. that's a 45 minute answer. I'll call you. I'll call you. I'll call you. On that one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Caroline, Thank thanks for being the first repeat guest in enlightened up history. That's how enlightened you are. You brought your light old self in here. No, I said old. <laughs> You brought your light, dressy, <laughs> two-tone shoes, self. two-ton shoes, rainbow connection. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? <laughs> uh, rainbow connection. Uh, Someday beautiful. we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Lovers huh? and dreamers to me. Oh, my God. Okay. Can I tell you my real quick story? No, I'm late. Right, I'll tell I'm you. I'm late. You're going to love this You're story. Call we're working later, together me. tomorrow. Not yes, that they're oh, going to no, hear okay. I can't wait to see you. All right. Love you, Caroline Ray. By the way, folks. Please download us, spread the word, give us nice ratings and all that stuff. And remember, enlighten the fuck up, will you?